Hey everyone, sorry about the wait, but it's time for everyone's favorite jort wearing mascot to, uh, I guess, stomp on boxes and collect apples. I, I gotta be honest, I don't know what Crash Bandicoot's all about, but, or rather, I played Crash 1 a little bit and was like, ugh. So, I'm excited to see, uh, I'm excited to see this, because everyone seems to, ow, 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 I just clipped my nails and now I'm trying to open a soda. Everyone, like, says it's really good. Uh, so I'm excited for that. It's really cool to see really accomplished developers revisit game design of the past, carrying with them all the lessons they've learned since then. I'm like, <sighs> hey, you want to play a video game? Oh! <gasps> 20 pages! 20 pages! 20 pages to play a game about a jort wearing animal man jumping on boxes! Are you fucking kidding me? Are you. Another one. 24 pages. Holy crap. No. Yes. Why would you ever ask me to give you more data after making me sign 50 pages of legalese? Anyway. No, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. There's a three-letter word that would be perfect right here, but I'm not gonna do it. Um... <laughs> Renflowers, you, you've hit the right one. You've hit the right one. All right. I was trying to think of any three-letter, funny three-letter word that would not be horrifically out of taste given the day's events, but that one's pretty on point. Please. Please. Are you talking to the Queen such a gamer or not? We play old school, goddammit. Anyway, this is Crash Bandicoot 4. <laughs> I, uh, I'm doing a, I, I'm doing a bounty for the first time, so... Not only am I siphoning a bunch of goodwill dollars off you guys, but now I'm fully monetizing you, so... I guess there's gonna be a banner that pops up asking you to buy the game or something like that. Somebody asked if I have 30% off codes for this game. I don't. But... I do have some codes for giveaway. I do. At last, uh, the great Neocortex have you right where I was. So I'm going to hold you all hostage. If you watch till the end of the stream, I'll give away I'll give away some codes for Crash 4. I have two for PS4 and two for Xbox. So. There. Now you can't go. You can't leave. You can't. Only four though, <laughs> total. Going to fail again. At least Uka Uka and I attempt to free us from this prison. My animation is on point, man. It is so great to see modern hardware and modern animators kind of abandon photorealism and go back to big cartoony expressive styles. Because it scales up so well. Can I leave them on PC? Nope, you have to stay too. Because if you win a code, you'll just have to buy an Xbox. It's not on PC yet, otherwise I'd be playing on that, but... Dead? Leave him. He served his purpose. <laughs> What's a... what is a bounty? Ah! So... Late title card?! Bruh! This shit is already great. Oh, and echoing evil laughter over a title card? A great power has awoken. We got a 10 out of 10 game on our hands, guys. Uh... Crash. I fear it Bounties, right. So, if you're a Twitch partner, you can... You you basically have this, like, list of what they call bounties, which is a an amount of money for streaming something for a particular amount of time at a certain viewership. Um, I intended to do this regardless, but it turns out that I'm getting a lot of uh, understandable enthusiasm today, so uh, it wasn't supposed to be like this. I was going to do this anyway. Oh, uh, Spyro! That's cute. Uh, so, uh... It is what it is, but yeah, if there's a, uh... Essentially, um, basically you get, you get a skate- Oh, I got a hat! Beautiful. He has toe beanies. We got crash feet. What's Crash's rating on Wikifeed? Can somebody let me know? You can turn in and change the TV? Oh, well, let's go back then. Oh! 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 
That's my game. Ooh! Guys, we got a we got evil laughter over a late title card. And achievement points. We're doing it. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> it keeps track of your deaths. Oh man, that's mean. <laughs> it's crash. Yeah. I haven't played Crash much, but <laughs> This music is okay. I like this so far. Oh, right. I... I can't remember what you're supposed to do for the pigs. You just have to dodge them, right? Or do you jump on the top? Ah, I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. Hope y'all like vibraphone. Who doesn't like a nice vibraphone? Alright, well, whatever. I won't get all the apples. Boo-hoo. The game seems a little quiet to me, huh? Hold on, I'll, I'll crank it up in a second here. Been playing for how long? Uh, five minutes, maybe? <laughs> I mean, it, it looks fantastic. God, it looks so good. Also, the run animation's really fun, nice and bouncy. Like, man, how long, how long have game and environment artists been making fucking space stations and alien planets and crystal caves? And I'm just like, ah. there's, there's just been a lot of opportunity, I think, that's been missed based on the trends in game design. To, uh, oh, that was an exploity one. To really make like big, fun, expressive, cartoony environments and worlds again. But luckily, luckily, all the boomer gamers that grew up with games like this are have jobs now and are fine with uh, buying the next one. So it's good that this shit's coming back. I just remember for the longest time, kind of commenting on this earlier during. During the phase where, uh, like, games tried their hardest to be movies, the the impossible goal was to have a game that looked as good as Toy Story. And, like, this is well ahead of that already. So we did it. We did it. I'm trying to think of the first, like, Toy Story quality game. What would that have been? Probably Haze. Dang it, I lost it already. Probably Haze. It's probably Haze. Maybe like Killzone 2. Maybe. It's an... I only played a little bit of Crash 1. Was that mechanic of like knocking an enemy into another enemy? I assume that had to have been in a Crash, but... Missed the hidden gem? Maybe I didn't. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I'm gonna go back and pick it up later. Maybe I'm gonna do that. I'm not. I know. I totally missed it. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Yes, but less magnetic. Okay. Yeah, because it seems like it just really homes in on him now. Ah. You guys, I'm gonna get that bonus. Oh, eight out of eight. Why is there a cow? Well, I guess I should step on this. I just want to hang on the couch with my, my furry girlfriend. Watch anime and smoke weed all day. Oh shit, more achievement points. You guys, it just doesn't get better than this. It doesn't get better than this. I got fucking, I got Naruto on Blu-ray. My friend Trevor hooked me up with some weed. I got the day off from work. Oh. Could get better? I, def I defy you to explain how. That is impossible. Yeah. I picked up a sixer of Oreos at the gas station. 
they actually boldly demarcate the platforms that go away? You madman. This isn't the Crash Bandicoot I know. You can actually land on platforms without just slipping right through them and dying? Uh-uh. Not my Crash. Oh yeah, bootlegs of the newest DBZ on VHS. That's the real shit right there. Dude, my friend in Canada sent me the Brawly movie! Things said 40 minutes away from disappointment. I guess the newer Brawly movies are pretty sick. That's what I've been told. I'm, st I'm still... I'm still crawling my way through Dragon Ball Z Kai because that shit is not an easy watch. Oh boy. Arr. They still bash you on the face for all the crates you didn't get? Give it to him. Gems unlock skins, earn gems by breaking crates, getting Wumpa. I don't... I feel like that phrase means something else in the Crash community. Anyway, finding hidden gems and beating levels in three lives or less. Excellent. No? That motherfuck... Why did Crash not get pounded into the ground by four crates? Where are they if they're not getting dropped on his head at the end of the level? BS. Bring it on. My life didn't truly begin until I watched Oran High School Host Club while eating an entire bucket of KFC. Oh, Sadabus, that sounds amazing. Or, or excuse me, Sudabouse. Uh, Ingvi, thank you for gifting five subs. Oh, Shalin Schlong? What, an, what a name. Let me just... Very good, thank you for the sub. Ghost Attack 98, thanks for the prime. Hooded Enchantre. Thanks for the Prime. Maztec Prince, thank you for the Prime. Cooper, thank you for the Prime. This is a pretty spooky cave. A little video game cave. I like the, the like, rolling motion of him. Like, he's not moving as a, as a, as a unit. He kind of blobs. He's very squishy and stretchy. Damn. Makes me want to watch Oran High School Host Club again. Stephanie's never seen that, but she also just... She's not... She's not anime. So, I don't know. There are, I think, few shows that can... That can cross the divide. That can, like, are good enough to, to qualify as just good TV. I think Oran... Oran Host Club is good enough, right? That's gotta be, right? I can't think of a single person that's watched that and didn't like it. It's like kind of like Hitalia. Um, everyone likes that. Fate Zero? Absolutely not, Builder. That is some core-ass anime. No. Fate Zero is, is is fun. I don't know that I would show it to somebody who's not a not an anime fan. She like Death Note. I, she never watched it, so it's like... Death Note would probably be one that's about, about good enough. Yeah. She doesn't like JoJo. Too much, too much anime. Which, that's fair. JoJo is an anime-ass show. Orana's basically what if Daria was fun. She does like Daria, so maybe that'll win out. One Punch Man? Eh, maybe. Problem is One Punch Man plays off of so many tropes that are kind of endemic to anime. Um, and just like, shonen in general. And to a lesser degree, just like comic books and even maybe wrestling. But like... I think even I think even One Punch sort of speaks to a bank of uh, of knowledge and references she may not have. Oh, melancholy? Yeah, maybe, maybe. If you if it, if it were shown chronologically. Are old friends more important than new ones you like more? That is a an incredibly complicated question. There's so many factors to that. Also, like, how do you even rank importance of a person? I don't know about importance. I, like, I'm gonna assume I'm gonna assume the context of that question is who you're deciding to spend your time with, and that's also an extremely complicated and uh, I, I can't answer that based on based on uh, only what only what I know right now. Have you played Hades and would you stream it? I've done both of those things. Yeah. 
I love Hades and I've streamed it. And I'll probably stream it more because I'm I'm deep into that game now. I got I got my fourth clear yesterday, uh, so I'm kind of I'm kind of in the I'm in the zone now. I'm in I'm in I'm in for the ride. Oh. 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 Wow. Don't mind if I do. Uh-oh. I should have jumped over there. I didn't do it. They got me. I got crashed. Or can I do it? Ooh. Do you only jump up? Yeah, it seems like you only jump up. That's smart. So you can't, yeah, you can't, like, DI out. Oh, you can get up there. Okay. Oh, you feel... No, don't worry about it, Nikki. Sorry. Like, I, I don't... I feel bad sometimes when I answer questions like that because it seems like a... It seems rude, really. But, yeah, no, I, I'll definitely uh, stream more Hades in the future. Um... But I stream Haze. I, actually, yes. Haze is the exact kind of old game that I love playing. The one that was like trying so hard to be AAA but just didn't hit. Like, it's one thing to go back and play like, oh, Mass Effect. Like, oh, big Mass Effect. I am, I love the like, the whiffs. I, I am, oh, is this like a hint for the hidden gem? Let's find out. Ah, it is. Indeed it is. We doing it, boys? We we hidden gemming? Yeah, we are. Oh. Doing a movie marathon of movies based on video games, which one would you say is the best? I guess it depends what you mean by best. And I'm, I'm sorry to, like, be so specific all the time, but, like, do you mean most entertaining or most faithful? Oh! <gasps> Off the top of my head, like, the fun ones are Resident Evil, uh, Mortal Kombat, Tomb Raider, the Angelina Jolie one. The, the new one was unfortunately a little, a little soft. Um, shit. Um, yeah, Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat's probably the most fun, super faithful, enjoyable adaptation. And then there's like video game adjacent movies like uh, Edge of Tomorrow, Live Die Repeat, or like Shoot 'Em Up. I cannot believe for a second I missed boxes. Are you looking forward to the new RE reboot films? It's going to be based on the games. Wait, they're doing they're restarting Resident Evil? I didn't know that. Silent Hill is very good. So is Sonic the Hedgehog, actually. I, I enjoyed Sonic the Hedgehog. Doom is... Doom is fun. It can be a little slow, though. I never saw... I never saw either Hitman. Um, I do like Timmy... I do like Timmy O, though. Timothy Oliphant is... is a pretty classy choice, in general. Oh, yeah, Super Mario Brothers. So there, there's a whole layer of, like, so bad they're good movies. Super Mario Brothers and Mortal Kombat Annihilation are certainly there. Uh, Wing Commander is pretty forgettable. Wing Commander is actually kind of a boring movie. Um, the Uva Bowl run, though. Watch Alone in the Dark if you want some core... Or House of the Dead. If you want some core bad video game cinema. If the quantum masks have returned... Hey, Aku, how's it going? Is that a quantum rift? Yeah, Sonic Boom! I still got that over there. I need to play that. It appears to be a door between... Oh! Yes. Sorry, gynecomastia is the official term for a man with boobs with actual breast tissue needs surgery to be removed. Right! That's right, because people tell me I have that all the time. I knew I knew that word. 
Gynophobia is the is the one I was thinking of. Uka Uka unknowingly paved the way for our bright future. Uh, she was like no way. That is not necessarily something I can comment about. I have been. I haven't worked there for almost a year now, so. Engine embryo. I am not the person to ask about how viable it is. Oh, I never saw Max Payne. Hmm. Then my potion will make me and them unstoppable. Right, yeah, fine, sure. Have fun with your. It's only visible, or it's only really visible at low body fats. That's kind of where my head's at. Like I want, I want to lose weight down to a certain BMI and then see where my body's at. And if I can do that, I'm kind of okay with with like surgical correction because it's like if i die down to a certain size and, and there's still just shit hanging off my body get it taken out man why why live with it if i don't have to uh that's kind of where my head's at but oh yeah dr sinwar you love crash man i i uh i never really played this series much i just didn't i didn't have playstation in the early days and certainly didn't get a playstation for platformers i got a i got a playstation for uh for those big square RPGs, big square soft RPGs. Gotta love a world map with nodes. These sound effects are all so good. Check out those goons! Oh. Dang it. Does The Wizard count as a video game movie? I think so, yeah. The Wizard's fun to watch because it feels like it was pretty clearly another film and then Nintendo just kind of crammed video games into it. And the movie it was... I would say it's good, but there's there's something there. It's, it's not quite exactly a, uh, a video game fantasy movie, though that's how it reads to a kid. For sure. <laughs> yeah, Gotti, it's weird. Time is weird, man. Life goes on, people live their lives, perspectives change. Shit gets weird. Oh, so we need the oh there was a Ratchet and Clank movie too. Yeah. Hmm. Now my Never saw that. Is around here somewhere. Uh, Prime Glass, thank you for the sub. Dark Wraith, thank you for the sub. Don't worry, we have a thing where we fight, he loses. It's a well-established dynamic. Uh, I feel like I haven't kept up with you since you left Funhouse. Not used to Twitch, but I've been loving the stream. I'm glad to hear it, Ivory. This is kind of, this is me every day. Uh, well, every day I stream anyway. So, uh, hey man, if, if, the, if you're into this. Oh, cool, okay. Then good news for you. Plenty more where that came from. <laughs> oh. Oh, we got we got tricks. Alright. Huh. Oh. Huh. Oh. This kind of reminds me of a lot of the some of the levels in Galaxy. Just the it's interesting that it's like you control it and it's not on a timer. Prince of Persia Forgotten Sands had some of this going on in it too. Really interesting uh, mechanic for a platformer. Oh. Huh. He just turned blue? Yeah, he's got a little mechanic suit now. He's got a cyber suit. Jeez, Crash Bandicoot copy cyberpunk. Make up your own game! Wait, what does that do? I guess it, huh. It gives you a little bit of height, but you just fall straight down. Huh. Oh yeah, Stu Maka, sorry, I saw your, your question, or your comment before. Uh, hope recent events haven't affected you too much. Hope everyone else is all right too. Have you checked up on the others? Yeah, I mean, I've been doing that all week. I've been trying to check in on people and make sure uh, people that need to talk have a, have a space to talk, so. Um, I took a couple days off because of that. Um, Ooh, does it explode in nether space? It does, but it doesn't affect it. I mean, uh, if I'm being honest, like, just by the numbers of it, um, people have shown up in a big way today to express their support. So, 
it's kind of driven a lot of viewership and, and revenue my way today specifically. Um, apart from that... Apart from that, I guess my biggest biggest thing is just trying my best to make sure that I... Wait, hold on. Does this, oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Did that hurt me? Why did I do that? I did everything wrong there. Um, apart from that, it's just... For me, it's just been... I've just had to learn how to keep my big, stupid mouth shut. That's just kind of the biggest thing. Um, so that is that is something that uh, I have struggled with in the past. Of not saying things when saying things doesn't help. So, get rid of the shield? Okay. So that's... So how do you break those crates without getting hurt? Do you have to launch an enemy into them? Uh... I don't know why I thought... I don't know why I thought touching it wouldn't explode when they just said touching it makes it explode. At the end? There's a remote detonator. Oh! Okay, I didn't know that. Well, thank you. That's awfully handy. Okay, great. Okay, so you're intentionally meant to leave those. I am very thankful that there's a whole, a whole generation of, of crash experts here to, to uh, sort of sort of provide some top tips. That is also genuinely one of the best things about Twitch streaming. Ah, is that you get to uh, you get to benefit from uh, from other people's experience. I forgot. I forgot. I was like, maybe if I ride the barrel up, there will be a secret up there. I missed a box. What? What? Let's watch Ray Perfect the Collection. Oh my gosh. Sometimes, sometimes I, I am amazed at the sheer gaming miracles that other people can perform. I think the only... Oh, hit the megaphone? Oh, okay. Ah. Hoo -hoo. Got him. I think the only gaming miracle I've truly performed since switching to streaming is beating Doom Doom on Ultra Nightmare. Doom Eternal on Ultra Nightmare will be my second gaming miracle. Um, finishing all the quests in Witcher 3 probably counts up there, but that's not necessarily skill-based so much as it is uh, just time. Having the time to be able to do that. But that's how miracles happen. He's in the Hall of Fame for hitting 1.5 million gamer score. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. He deserves it, man. A lot of hard gaming. Oh, thank you, Pop-Tart. Watching fighting game pros or pro shooter plays makes me appreciate the skill of some of these guys. Yes. It's something else. Missed again. No, I... I what? What? Hold on. What are you talking about? This one? It's metal. What else is there? What else are you talking about? Can you break metal crates? Is that what I'm being led to believe? Look above. Is there a... Look. Look, they say. There is no look. I can do that. The jump over the barrel has a crate above it, but it collapsed. Ah. Oh, I see. Okay. Got it. Ah, no, I don't. There we go. Good looking out. Oh, okay. They just... They take it away when you don't need it anymore. This game is in love with hidden boxes? Yeah, it seems like a... Donkey Kong Country school of, uh... Cramming levels filled with, a uh, Bunch of hidden trinkets.
I can certainly see why uh, a game with with that level of, of collectability and completionism would would be a comfy. Uh, I missed a box, you guys. Would be a comfy add-on to a, a, a PS a PlayStation library. Yeah, and we got the minecarts, and yeah. Turns out basically any any good platformer post Donkey Kong Country maybe took a one or two one or two lessons from DKC. Are you gonna go watch Matrix or Load Before Bed? Nice Converse. Load yourself up with some existentialism before you drift off into dreamland. Uh, Hayden MDO, thanks for the prime. Cremoso, thank you for the prime. No Sam, no Sam. Almost read it as no Sami, which it might be. Thank you for the prime. Dante must die. Exe. Thank you for the sub. All right, I'm gonna get that box this time. You guys ready for this? You ready for the sheer intensity with with which that box will be shattered? I don't think you are, if I'm being honest. But who knows? Sometimes you guys can surprise me. Oh, okay. That's what that's for. Got it. Yeah, I I beat Donkey Kong Country Returns with the sole purpose of moving on to play Donkey Kong uh, Tropical Freeze. And I started it, and I went, oh no! No! Those bastards. Oh, it's the morning, so you gotta sleep? Alright. Have a good night. And sleep well. What? What? What is this? Okay, I think I got it. Hello, Kekisano. Got a double jump. Yeah. You right, you right. Probably double jump and ground pound if... Yeah. Crap. I don't think I was holding the button properly. Fat man. Hey, good to hear you. Or good to see you. Good to hear from you. Mix those up. Good to hear you. Okay, all right, let me try this again. Huh, huh. Yeah, there she is. That's the good stuff. When those crates break just right. This game is really good. Uh, or, or it looks really, really pretty so far. The platforming mechanics feel really good. Um, which is not something I think I would have said about Crash. Ah, oh, shit. Crash one? Oh. And again, like I said, that's really the only game I have any experience with. Ooh, that's bad. Ah, shit. You got to do both of these in a checkpoint, huh? That's okay. I got good. That's fine. Oh, Medjool Dates? You had a good time? All right. Well, thank you very much for watching. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm only going to be playing for another hour or so, I think. I'm getting hungry. I'm going to go cook some dinner. Before you ask, yes, it is Blue Apron, because I actually never stopped subscribing to that, but... I will not give you, I will not give you a promo code. I don't have one. <laughs> They're not sponsoring me. Let's see if this works. Oh, oh, okay. All right. I missed a crate, you guys. Yeah, all those, all those ad reads went to go buy Bernie's fourth house or whatever. So, alas. Rip the completion dream. Yeah. I mean, this game seems like it's pretty definitively set up so that you're not meant to 100% everything the first time you see it. Do you would think it'd be worth a buy for a single person who doesn't eat too much? Maybe, probably not, really. Oh, wait, what? 
Were those... Were those nitro boxes? Um... Why did that blow up instantly? What? Might have been an Oh, I was inside. Okay. Hey, Sandra. Welcome, welcome. I think I was inside the box too, yeah. It is, so yeah. That's, that's the thing about being single is, oops, what was I thinking? Oh my gosh. Um, they give you meals that are for 2,000 calorie diets, which is probably maybe a little high for most people, especially, especially ladies. Nature really dealt you a raw deal on that one. So you, I mean, you can pick. They typically have, uh, they typically have recipes that are like between five and like 800 calories. So if you look over the recipes, you can pick the leaner ones. Even still though, I find that for the heavier meals, I'll typically split it in half and have like half one night and half the next day. If you're single though, you'll be doing that with every meal because I think each one is two servings at minimum. So if you're single, three meals becomes six meals and then it's, uh, that's a lot. Like that's a lot in a given week. But if I guess if that's all, you, if you don't mind leftovers and that's where you get most of your food. Ah, that's fine. Have you watched Tim Rogers' Doom review slash documentary? No, because I mean Tim Rogers' stuff is like five hours long or whatever. I I like Doom. I don't I don't know that I need to watch somebody else talk about Doom for that long. Sanders, sixty nine months. Hey, didn't I make a promise at one point? Pretty sure I did about your your sub train. Pretty sure I did, and I'm pretty sure that promise involved uh, involved Brucoaster. How big is the explosion on that thing? <laughs> well, un unfortunately, this is like soft sponsored. And I think that was the one exception to my rule. Um, Sandra, what is the neck? Well, this 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 is going to this is going to be weird, but I know there's hidden boxes in the tires. I I'll get there eventually, I think. Um, can you let can you tell me the next time you'll be around? Because I will absolutely play uh, Brew Coaster then. Which is a bit of a cop-out, but I want to make good on it. Jabba Wobs, thanks for the sub. Uh, how are you liking Crash 4 so far? Sorry if that gets asked a lot. Not. I actually super enjoying it. I, uh, it's surprising to me, honestly. I didn't think I would like it as much as I do. What? Ah! I guess I was inside it again. All right, here, let me get these boxes for. All right, just one. Playing Silent Hill again tonight? No, no, no. I'm gonna play this for like another, eh, another 40 minutes or so, and then hang it up. done any Among Us streams? Yeah! Um, Bruce Bring has been coordinating on. Among Us streams every Sunday. So I've been playing with uh, playing with a lot of people there. I actually, I enjoy that game. I do. Can I post a couple of fly on Pence's head? Oh, sure. I, yeah, sure. That sounds, that sounds fun. As a game reviewer, do you feel like Batman? Bring it on! I don't know what that means. Hi. What part of the armed forces are you with? Are you serious? Like they actually want you to sort of like flicker back and forth? Like this shit? Oh boy. Or maybe... There we go. Okay. Oops. Ah, that's fine. I missed a box! What the fuck? <sighs> oh, it was that web. What? That didn't. Okay. 
So explosion radius is one square, I guess. Okay, so you, oh, that's why you guys were telling me to get that box or that crate before I went in there. Look at you guys. Look at you guys trying trying to help out. Um, I, I think I understand what you mean now. How like game reviewers about Arkham were just like, it makes you feel like Batman. Like that was the one phrase everybody used over and over. Which to be fair, in the context of that game, it was actually true. Oh yeah, a new Odd World. Guys, there's a new Odd World. What have you been listening to lately? You have a favorite album from 2020. Um Favorite album from 2020 is tough because I don't I don't know specifically what came out this year. Um I feel like I would need to look at like the the list of albums I've been listening to this year to put a pin in that, but um lately I've been I was kind of kind of a, a bit of a phase, I guess. I've been listening to a whole lot of Underworld, which is just like a British electronica group. They've been putting out these like experimental albums of just kind of like less refined, less album tuned material. And they like collected it all into a, a series collection and I've been slowly listening to that because uh, it's like six hours long. Oh yeah, BT's new album. Um, I listened to it once and it was incredible. Uh, his his stuff is almost like too good for me to wrap my head around now. Uh, he he's starting to rep in just a ton of operatic shit and symphonic shit, and like he's he's been that talent for a long time. Um, I'm trying to remember. It's it's the one with the letters. <laughs> I'm trying to remember BT's album name. I need to listen to it a couple more times. Um, I'm in a square pusher phase. Oh, square pusher is very good. Oh, that's the nitro. Okay. Um, I have not listened to Mouth Dreams yet, although Nil Cicerega is just a beautiful composer. I like Disaster Piece okay. Does, like, chipped, really aggressive, kind of violent chip tune, kind of, kind of, uh, grates after a while. Oh, oh yeah. I should check out the Hades soundtrack. Independent from the game. Uh... Shameless self-promo, but I'm really excited to hear Cyberpunk 20, 2077 soundtrack. Just, just like, refused performing as Samurai itself is already a really good tease. And just, it seems to have the same rig out that GTA does with, like, radio stations that have loads and loads of music. So, I'm excited to see what's in there. I, I feel like I discovered a lot of new music through, um, through GTA. So I'm excited for, uh, I'm excited for, you know, maybe presuming too much, but I'm excited for something similar to happen through Cyberpunk. Uh, just popped in to say, appreciate your good vibes and humor. Please keep spreading love and laughter. Well, thank you, Duke City. Yeah, that's my goal. Uh, get paid, number one. Well, wait, no, hold on. Beat games, number one. Get paid, number two. And then whatever vibes, sure, fine, number three. <laughs> Who cares, man? As long as I'm... Get in that fucking bag, you know? Yeah, views is views. Hate the game, baby. Oh, see you, Phantom. Hope you stay unbothered and unstressed. And make sure those around you are happy. That's the goal. That is the goal. But thank you for the well wishes. Hope you have a good evening. Underworld is dope. Two months off is my favorite song. Yeah, they, I, I listened to them all the time back in the day because of their, you know, their breakout with uh, Train Spotting. 
Which actually, like Born Slippy is is one of my less favorite songs from them, but it was a good it was a good entry point. But yeah, I was so happy when I discovered that they were still active, and their newer album work is awesome. Um, they had an album out in 2016. I think it's like Barbara. We face a shining future. The title's a little pretentious, and also that's kind of the flavor of electronica you're going to be dealing with. But man, it's good. Man, it's good. I've gone back to that album a lot. Um, and their their series, their series experiments have some really good, really good tracks here and there. Um, so there were, I found some good stuff going through, but then uh, there was also some like, you know, some arty spoken word stuff. There was some like. Okay, this is like, this doesn't have a normal time signature. You guys are getting out there. Uh, you know, hey, whatever makes you happy, I guess. I do need something with kind of a reliable, reliable beat to it, I feel. To me, like, percussion is just the most important. Um. Arg. <laughs> Oh, if you detonate boxes with TNT, they don't release apples, mangoes, whatever tropical fruit this is. Ah, okay. Wampas. Ah, legendary wampa fruit. Gotcha. I like how in a row three people got the verb different or got the the vowel different. Wumpa, wampa, wampa. <laughs> hey, what's up, Blizzy? You got time to watch again? Yeah. What's uh, what's been going on in the old life? Just busy with shit. Or oh, wrong button. Boy, do I know a thing or two about that. How does one enjoy odd time signatures? I mean, they can be used well, you know. There are there are Led Zeppelin songs. There are Tool songs. Ow! Pff, what am I thinking? Th there are like tons of experiments, successful experiments, with funky time signatures. It just requires like I think it requires like a magic intersection of a few things for a a weird time signature song to be l super listenable. They are rare, but it does happen. Oh! You can't say that in an E for Everyone game. What are you thinking? Wumpa is spelled different multiple times on purpose. That is the way of the crashers. Ah, okay. Yeah, thank you, BMs above. My timeless wisdom uh, from Super Mario Sunshine. Anything is good as long as it's good. Like, like, a. Uh, like most uh, profound statements said while high, it only makes the more it only makes more sense the more you think about it. Oh! Oh, look at how happy he is, that prick. So you gotta wait. You gotta wait to get him in the tummy. Yeah. Oh, Adam just tweeted. Okay. I'll read it, but I don't know that I'm going to read it out loud. Oh, tweets are protected. How is anyone going to see that? I guess only the people that follow? Here's my reaction. Eh. May that be the last time I ever have to worry about that shit ever again. Is this Baldur's Gate? It's absolutely Baldur's Gate. Yes. 
Do I offer any details? Nope. Not gonna get a whole lot of shit out of me, unfortunately. Anyway, yeah, it's done. Yeah, oh no! Anyway. That's the end of that. Back to playing video games. Yeah, where... How do you even see that? Oil spill? Thanks for the sub. Was I surprised by the news? I can't answer that. I can't answer anything that implies more information about anything else. Because that will only lead to more questions. If you ask me a question that has a yes-no answer, and... This, as soon as you hear that, another answer immediately, or another question immediately comes into your mind, it's not something that I can answer. So, if I say, I mean, I guess no is the expected answer, but even if, you know, it's just, there's no, there's no way to talk about it without, without inviting more questions and dragging it out. Um, that's the last thing I want. Yeah! I do want that crate, though! Do you love Baldur's Gate? Ooh, now that's a, mm. That's actually, that is actually, unfortunately, a complicated question. <laughs> See, that's another one. That's another one, just gonna lead to more questions. Oops, my cursor has been there this entire time. This entire time. And now I think I'm, I'm created a death trap for myself. Yeah, no, I screwed up there for sure, Dark Wraith. I didn't, I didn't, I don't understand, or I didn't know the mechanic about Ghost boxes. That's pretty neat, though. You gotta go to the end and come back the other way. I like that. Alright. Let me try it. Oh! Erp. You love Reese's Puffs. Now that I do. That I do indeed. Reese's Puffs was my favorite cereal for a while. It was a, uh... It was a phase. Not one that I regret. I enjoyed it quite a bit. Jerry! Hey, good to see you, man. How's the slide jump in the game? I doesn't feel like... It doesn't feel like your momentum from the slide carries over into a jump. Yeah, you have to save a path back and forth, yeah. That's interesting. Because you still have to get back to the other side, yeah. So, if I touch one of those, it's gonna break next time. So you can use one each time? Yeah. Okay. What's up? I mean, I already read a thing, if that's what you're talking about. Eh. Eh. My reaction then is, is it is now. Eh. Oops. I'm doing this wrong, man. I should have, I should have recorded a YouTube video that was 10 minutes and one second long with 10 minutes of silence and then one second eh at the end. Thank you, Will Fabulous. Does your girlfriend stream? No, she's... she's She's got a whole other job. Um, and I don't think she's interested in that kind of attention. If that makes sense. Oh, you're right, I still could do it. No, it's... The last thing I want to do is uh, be seen as trying to make this about me... Or, like, driving attention to anything that I, I do or work on as a result. That was not the box to break the first time. Oh yeah, there's always COD cam. That, honestly, that's me trying to, trying to get her into it more. No! Oh, okay, no, I'm still good, I'm still good. Cut came is the real way. You're losing focus? What do you mean? I'm doing better than ever. No! And there it goes. 
There it goes. There goes all my wimpers, wimpers, wump, wumpers. Thank you, Dragon Jetpack. Good to see you, by the way. Thank you for the sub. Thoughts on Baldur's Gate 3? I haven't played it. Why? Everyone's buzzing about Baldur's Gate 3 all of a sudden. That's interesting. I didn't think Baldur's Gate was one of those series people knew about or cared about anymore. It's good. I guess, okay, all right. Good things are good. I just feel like there's, there have been tons of like, those caliber of RPGs on PC for a long time. Um, I guess Larian has a bit of a, a bit of a reputation at this point for uh, Divinity. So that probably adds into it. It's just, yeah, maybe that's it, uh, Highbridge. Oh, I did that wrong. Oh, I did that wrong. Oh, no. Oh, that was my last life, too. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, no. Oh, wait. Oh, I'm on my last life. That's it. Pressure's, pressure's on. Gotta go for it. Other spooky games. Um, I always wanted to play or finish Alien Isolation. I'd like to get around to that. There's a couple of, like, walking sim horror games that, uh... I'd like to play. Made of Scurs out there. The new Dark Pictures Anthology game is coming out. Um, that counter for lives is how many you got in the bonus area, not full lives. Oh, do, do deaths in the bonus area not count? Ah, oh, deaths don't count. Okay. Good to know. Oop! Where was my double jump? That was weird. I tried Plasmophobia. Oh, yeah, that's kind of the new flavor of the week, huh? No, I haven't tried it yet. It seems like it's, a, it's big for VR. I haven't kept. I should have kept an eye on the viewer count because I know for like people are people are probably gonna be be filing back in now that there's a, a PNG with text on it out in the world. Oh no, wrong button! Shit, would you play the old Fatal Frame by any chance? I never did play the one on Wii U. I do remember. I do remember. Uh, Man, Fatal Frame 2 was one of my favorites. Sorry, you got dragged into this bullshit? Yeah, me too. Me too. It's almost like a horrifically selfish thing to do, isn't it? Uh, yeah. I mean, I'm, I am probably least affected at this point, because I have, I got another thing going. You know, I'm, I've been away from it for a, for a while, but. Brr. Good old games picked up Silent Hill 4. I did see that. Yep. I I just got done playing that exact thing. So wait, what's so the idea is if you finish the bonus with a life in stock, you carry it into the main game? That's the idea. Take a look at CoScript on Steam, it has a demo. Man, there's a lot. A lot of a lot of spooky, good spooky games out there. There's a lot of good everything out there right now. Uh, yeah, I haven't done a ton of poking around uh, for for horror games because there's just so many. That's not enough crates. Oh, right, 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 right. Oh! 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 Feels good, man. Typhlo, thank you for the sub. Vans shirts, thank you for the sub. Oh, Phantom Boss, hold on. It's not on camera right now, but I'm doing it just for you. There, the hourglass has been flipped. Has a video game ever made you emotional? Of course. Of course. Why would I play them if they didn't make me emotional? Oh, 
cool as an emotion? Exactly, High Lord. So, I play video games to feel cool and to be cool. And very clearly, both of those things are happening right now. I cried in Red Dead. Red Dead was, was a pretty good ending, yeah. Mmm... Uh, I think my original sick hacks is also an emotion. Yeah, big time hacking, huge feeling. And I live there every day. Every day I'm I'm hard game and I'm also hard hacking, and I feel it. I feel every second of it. And it feels good. What's going on over here? What the hell was that? Whoa! Oh, I saw that though. Huh? I guess, is that just to show me? Like, is this a platform here? Can I land on that? I can't. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, that was a big clutch, huh? Meant to do it. That was big Twitch gamer plays. Oh, I already went over there. I feel like too many games rely on killing off the main character at the end to get us to evoke emotions. I guess it feels like a cop-out sometimes. No, it, it is. The, the, the contr- The counterpoint to that is, is, honestly, in games, you have so little direct narrative time. Cutscenes have to be short. Because most people don't like cutscenes. Because most people don't play games for a narrative. Um, which is why, to me, the best emotions that are evoked are the ones that happen not because of the story the game's telling you, but because of the story the game has you go through. Uh... You know, it's that Minecraft sensibility of, you know, you have this experience with your friends of staying up all night trying to get this material and then you get blown up and... Those are the real stories right there. And also the ones that I would wager make you more emotional. Or more effective at, uh... Evoking emotion. Oh boy, that was a big erp. Oh, I, uh, yeah, I haven't gotten to the ending of, uh, of Hades yet. I'm excited though. Well, I mean, I, I cleared it, but it, I guess you got to do it 10 times to get the real ending. Make your own stories a hundred times better than watching the game story. That is true, but that's because most video game writing is really bad. Um, we're starting to get actual writing in games, which is nice. But yeah, for a long time, most game writing has just been other people who assume that writing is not hard. Oops. Um, because a lot of people assume writing is not hard. Uh, are you, any plans on streaming 14 again? Yeah, no concrete plans at the moment, but I really like that game and uh, would like to get into a habit of streaming it more regularly. It'd be nice to get a, a crew together. I say this a lot, so I know how contradictory it can be, but it would be nice to uh, be able to uh, to play with like a, a good community. And certainly there's a good community here. Oh! 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 Yeah, Malcolm, exactly. A lot of video game writing is pastiche. At best, kind of. Like you have to... A lot of it is just kind of recycled dialogue from other things. Um... Mm. Is it on PC now? No, I'm playing it on I'm playing it on Xbox. I guess that doesn't actually do anything. I've pl I've played a little bit of Frostpunk. Yeah. the the big The big thing that I think writers, bad writers, typically struggle with with games writing, is not making it about them. You know. Oh yeah, the Windows G thing. That's that's a good point. No, I I am playing it on my computer, but through Game Capture HD, um, through uh. Oh boy, a challenge level. I'm playing it, uh... Yeah, through a capture program, because... I don't have an HDMI input for my monitor. Did you get a new chair? I did! Yes, it's a... It's, well, you can't, never mind, you can't see it. It's a Doom chair. Uh, I got this for, for volunteering for Bethesda's QuakeCon stream this year. Experiment. Another Rock Band would be so dope. It's still there! Trial number one. Rock Band is still there. It's still good. You can still play it. I don't know why we'd, you'd need another one. It's just like, I think some people... Feel like you can't just... 
Like, there's no excitement about playing an old game, I guess? It's still there, it's still good. They, they kept adding DLC to it this whole time. More instruments? No. You don't need more instruments. The keyboard, I think, proved that. They've been, they've been adding and patching features to Rock Band 4 this whole time, you guys. Arr! I guess... Oh, I was supposed to, I was supposed to twirl that one. I, I guess the biggest thing is just, like, next-gen support. Um, but Xbox already said they're supporting all previous controllers, so... If you have it on Xbox, you're probably good, which is... I don't know, I kind of got that vibe. That, like, Microsoft was doing a better job keeping their peripherals in the, uh... Keeping their peripherals active and supported. So... That's another thing that's interesting to think about. Rock Band 4 on a Series X. It's gonna play exactly like Rock Band still, but I'm excited to see what that's like. 4K 60fps Rock Band, bro! Yeah, Sony's bad at that. It's n it's just never been a, a platform priority for them, because it never needed to be. Ah, shit. Try Clone Hero. No. Oh. My Rock Band desires are more than fulfilled by Rock Band 4. Um. I don't know how much longer I'm in it. I do like this this VCR overlay though. That's cute. So is Crash Bandicoot the result of some experiment to create the raddest and most radical console mascot? I actually don't know anything about the lore of, of Crash. Yeah, just go to Goodwill if you want rock band instruments, pretty much. Oh, okay, alright. Oh! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Can't believe I missed that. Oh! So you basically do have infinite infinite continues from checkpoint. That's nice. Oops. Oh. Crash was meant to surpass Sonic, yeah. A mascot to surpass Sonic the Hedgehog? That's right, it's Crash. He's just so wacky. Oh, baby. Well done, oh, oh, so many sick points. <laughs> People aren't mentioning blinks. Yeah, there was some, I can't remember who. I think somebody was teasing out that they were gonna release blinks the time sweeper for backwards compatibility for series X. And that's fantastic. Um, Cause I play blinks the time sweeper on series X. Playing Blinks the Time Sweeper in 4K, to me, that's actually the visitation of what next gen is. Um, if like, imagine that, man. Imagine if you bought the PS5 and you could play, I'm trying to think of Sony first party stuff. 
that was like Xbox adjacent. Imagine that, yeah, imagine that you could play Killzone 2 in 4K 60 FPS. Not that Blinks the Time Sweeper is as memorable as Killzone 2, but I don't know. I just think it's so cool what Microsoft is or Xbox is doing with their platform. Jack and Daxter, yeah. Just just there. And you can just download it. Imagine. Imagine for a Virtua Fighter. Yeah, Ridge Racer. Dude. Uh, God. Twisted Metal. Yeah. If like Twisted Metal Black just up automatically. You could download it. You could play pay PlayStation 12 bucks a month. Get access to all that shit. And it would run in like 4K60. Bleh. That's like, to me, that's so cool. That's such, such a, to me, that's like actually a system selling feature. And I know that's not really what new consoles were used to looking to them for, but I think we've had enough console generations now that it's more about ecosystem and legacy than about the four or five games you can play at launch. Yeah, Twisted Metal on PSP. Pat upon 4K60. Don't be a coward, Sony. Knack 8K? You know it. Okay, I get it, I get it. You gonna get a life for that? Alright, alright. Vib Ribbon 4K. There is not a single uh, PlayStation 1 or 2 game that is not the perfect game running in 4K, if only. Have you moved? I don't recognize this background. Uh, not recently. I've been here for a two years? Two and change? Oh, oh, have I talked about it? I've talked about it as much as I'm going to, which is very little. So, not necessarily a no-no, but there's just n nothing to be heard, really. Statements are out. Um, we'll, s we'll see what happens. Oh! Just want to forget for now? Yeah, me too. Metal Gear Solid in 4K? Yeah. Well, that's not technically a Sony first party game, but I was trying to keep my, or was trying to contain my uh, my imagination to that. How much longer are you going to stream? Probably probably this level. I think I'll finish out this level and then we'll, we'll find somebody to raid. I'm getting hungry. That's one of the more interesting things about, like, trying to diet, too. Ooh! Man, that, that jump always looks like it's closer. Is that I want to, uh... It's like, if I can put myself in the gamer zone, I kind of forget how hungry I am. And then I end up... I can make it through the day on relatively few calories, because the video games are nourishing me. But, uh... Yeah, once it starts hitting in, it gets harder to ignore. Oh, I was, I thought since they were tires that I was going to bounce off of them. So I was just like, well, better keep moving. But that was not the case at all. Why does booze have so many calories? Because it's awesome. And life can't be, life can't be cool all the time. Is really what it is. If life were cool all the time, booze would have no calories. Like, air conditioning systems would just have sweet weed vape in them all the time. We'd all be drunk as shit every hour of the day. Living life. Screaming lyrics to, uh... Screaming lyrics to Oasis songs. Making out a ton. And the world would be good. But it's not. Somehow we got to get up in the morning and do do our live our shitty lives anyway. <laughs> Ow! That was weird. Wait, what? What? Hold on. Wait, hold up. Okay. So I guess if a TNT block moves or drops, it, it explodes instantly. Because in the past they were pretty clear about demonstrating that you could break a block and the rest would just slip down. 
But I do like that they gave they gave a, a, a shield so they could demonstrate that mechanic. And that was pretty well done, actually. If there's one thing Everclear taught me, it's everything is wonderful now. Yeah. That, that was my technique for a while. Is just, like, have one very raunchy drink. Uh, Everclear and Diet Dr. Pepper 10 was, was my cocktail of choice. Um, and then you don't really need to drink for a while. Like, it gets you, it gets you up. It gets you up fast. And, uh, instead of just, like, nursing drinks the entire night, you can just kind of do the one. And then move to water. It doesn't provide much of a much of a narrative though. Definitely not as fun as like going to a cocktail bar and trying all that stuff. Yeah, Cyber Fisherman. Ever clear? That's pure alcohol. That's savage and also kind of crazy. So just just like if you think about it from the terms of the alcoholic content, Everclear is just like it's just double vodka. That's all. That's all. No need to get no need to get scared of a little double vodka. So like you can make a drink and instead of putting two shots of vodka, just put one shot of Everclear. I mean, really, it, it ends up being about the same amount of calories either way. Isn't it corn? I mean it's made it's made out of corn. Um but it's it's alcohol. So like it once it's distilled and processed and whatever, there's really no difference. It's just whatever percent alcohol and whatever percent water. Exactly, Icarid. I mean, that's more when I was drinking for effect. <laughs> I haven't done that in a while. Yeah, vodka's watered down ever clear anyway. Um, finally, some sense. It's, uh, it's true, though. Whatever, I'm just going. I'm just going. 100% run is later. Once I'm better at the game. Hey, hey, crank that! Thanks for the sub. Uh, coconautism or coconautism? Uh, I, I said it the same way. Thank you for the prime, Hero Five Four One. Thank you for the sub, Slippy the Insane. Thanks for the prime, Typical Cameron. Thank you for, thank you for reminding everyone that Rock Band is the shit because it absolutely is. Rock Band's so good. Bucko, thanks for gifting five subs. Get good, gamer. I will. Thank you for the prime. Oh, get good. Thank you for gifting a couple of subs too. Cobalt King, thanks for the prime. Thank you guys. God, the flow of the flow of the flow of money here has been absurd, and I know why. But thank you guys. Thank you so much. I will. Uh, I'm actually like. Oop! Ah, they got me. Um. Hmm. I am. Hmm. Trying to think of what to say. I am. I was already planning some. I was already planning something, but you guys can feel fairly confident that that money is actually going to go help some people affected by this. Just blow off some steam for a little bit. That, that might be a little too uh, too arcane, but uh, CS Pliskin, thank you for the subs. Twitch Prime, Twitch Prime, Twitch Prime, Twitch Twitch Prime. Do you mind if I ask how you were negatively affected? Well, I mean, the literal one is that... Uh, why do I keep thinking I have to jump over that? And the literal one is that I had to take... Or I didn't have to, but I chose to take a couple of days off just to... Just to avoid shit. Um, there were other ways that I'm not going to talk about because that goes into subjects that I'm not going to talk about. But yeah, the most direct one is that uh, in addition to... In addition to, like, seeing the thing that I created um, be upended... I don't know. Oh, is that quantum? Maybe it is. I also have to manage this. Um, I got to make sure that I don't speak out of turn. I got to make sure that I don't feed any any rumor machines. I got to make sure that I don't like create any problems for anyone else that doesn't deserve those problems. So you know, this. this oh, it's slide. Yep, I forgot you can slide. Um. Without this, it'd be any other day. But it's created more work for me. 
but that wouldn't be the first time that... Oh, damn it. I gotta stop my snide bullshit. I gotta stop. You guys, you guys can, can finish that one in your own heads, I guess. Uh, Havala, thank you for the prime sub. Let it out. No. <laughs> Got another Actually, one. no. <laughs> trying, trying my best not to. Oh, yeah. Are you ready? Stop. Huh? You are... Oh. Is this, is this the original Xbox game Fusion Frenzy all of a sudden? Am I playing 2001's Fusion Frenzy? I actually don't know when that game came out. I just made it up on the spot. Ooh, I see a big block of purple text over there. Hold on, I'm sorry, I'll read it in just a second. No! Oh! That's okay, the 100% dream has already been shattered. Uh, thanks for the stream today. Glad to have you back. It's been a great stream with a lot of positive energy. It's been needed for anyone who may be wrapped up in this. Also, it's been awesome for the community to watch. Welcome back and thanks. Hey, thank you. It's an incredibly supportive. Thank you so much. I, uh... I'm... Oh! I, I'm... I feel a little guilty claiming any any good feelings about that because it's honestly... It's, it's nourishing for me, too, to just play games and talk about games and hang out with people and hear what other people are up to gets me out of my own head and you know balances me out a little bit so i'm not gonna like you know i'm not a i'm not a saint for playing video games on the internet but i am glad that uh i'm glad that you're getting something positive out of it and i'm trying my best to keep it that way man this, this music is so good though you want the dirt? I know you do. Do you, do you think I can't see the viewer count and and think about the exact one thing that uh, that is different? I know, I know. You're just gonna have to keep wanting it though. Kind of wish you could just vent for just for the best. Yeah, someday, someday, years from now. thing is, uh, by then you won't care. There will be other drama. And that's the point. That's the point. When is the next stream? Tomorrow. Tomorrow, uh, like around noon. Um, I'm trying to think of how to... Like 15, 16 hours from now, if that makes any sense. Uh, that's a cool game. Oh, I have giveaways to do. That's right. Okay. Hopefully I've extorted you all to the extent that uh, you stuck around. Uh, there was a Twitch giveaway app I used to do. Um, I never remember which one it is. Because, like, if you Google it, there's all these b bullshit... There's, like, a plugin that doesn't work anymore. There was a website I found a while ago that was really good for it. Um, is it this? I think it's this. It might be this. I hope it's this. Okay, hold on a minute. I think I found it. Okay, hold on a second. Hold on a second. It might take me a second to make sure that I uh, have everything everything worked out. Make sure I got the widget all connected properly. Yeah, okay, good, 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 good. Um, all right, this is gonna be a test. Uh, do not. Okay. Okay, why isn't the widget working? What's going on with that? Oh! Oh! Okay. Okay. 
Wait, did you guys really guess that you you wow you did you did okay you guys were actually like guessing the word right okay so not giving it away yet that was a test it seems to be working who think you guys are trying widget i appreciate the experimentation i do stop giveaway bang um oh okay cool konang you you won the test congratulations congratulations you win congratulations you win Uh... But, 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 all right, let's give away some video games! Uh, you've got mail, yeah. Uh-oh! That's my shit. That's, that's what gets me, is ICQ noises. I was a Mirabilis kind of guy. I still remember my number, too. And then I was, uh, what is it? Shit. What was it? Trillion! There it is! So I could log into everything! I could... All of the- all of my digital girlfriends. Oh boy, there I did, I said a thing. That wasn't a reference, that was actually a joke. To me being a, a young internet player. Yeah. I miss Trillion too. And then there was a, uh, what was it? Mebo? There was like, no, there was a, uh... There was an, a website you could log into that would let you log into instant messaging services, so... Uh... Like, I- I- my job started blocking the ports for IM, so I would just go to the website and it would go through port 80 and everything was fine. I can't remember what that was, but... Uh... That was a good website. God. Jobs used to blow... Yeah, it was like Weibo or something like that, right? Yeah, that's what I thought. Pigeon? No, something like that. Something... Yeah, it doesn't matter. It just reminds me, re reminds me of like, that job, man. And like, no I am. No open internet. I had to bring my MP3 player. Sucks. They wanted you to just sit at your desk quietly and tap away. Just make code all day. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna give away, uh... I'm gonna give away the Xbox... I'm gonna give away a couple Xbox codes first, so I'll... I will, uh, I'll start the giveaway. You guys can enter it by typing in the keyword that I, you don't have yet. Uh, I'll let it run for a minute or two. And then I will whisper you on Twitch. I'll DM you the code. So hopefully somewhere in there a bot doesn't grab it somehow magically. Uh, okay. So this is, oh, there's no, yeah, there's not really a, uh, actually here, I'll pick, you can pick two winners at once. Wow! All right, start giveaway. Type in Xbox, 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 Xbox. Type in Xbox now if you want to be entered for a chance to win one of two codes for Xbox, 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 Xbox. Outer actual, thank you for the sub. Uh, my stick, thank you. Erda Cooper, thank you for the resub. Good to see you again. Square pushing, thanks for the prime. Dude nasty, thank you. Styrofoam peanut, thanks for the prime. Fright shark, thanks for the gift. ADG or AD yeah ADJ ADJE hmm thank you for the sub hustle and slow <laughs> thank you <laughs> thank you for the sub uh Dr. MJJ 55 thanks for the prime this isn't Morgan thank you for the cheer uh action fills off good to see you again thank you for the sub sorry I was uh getting my thank yous thank yous in the in there cowboy kit thank you for the sub thank you very much Boy, this is a lot of... This is a lot of Xbox. A lot of Xbox here. Whole lot of Xbox, wow. I'll let it go for two minutes. Two game codes, two minutes. I'm gonna put this back on. You know, PS5 Big 2? I... I've been thinking about that. I've been thinking about that a lot. I'm thinking about PS5. And how big... How big? Will repeats be counted? No. No, everyone gets one entry. After you've X'd your box, ew. You are, uh, you are in, you're good. All right. Actually, the music was okay. Let's go back to that. A little background, a little music bed, a little in editing term for you guys. A little, little biz talk, if you will. All right, here we go. 
And stock giveaway. Who wins? Ah, Sunny Delight and Public Fig. Thank you guys very much. Let me whisper you your codes right now. Let me make sure I'm getting the right one. Okay. I can do this. I can do this, I swear. So keep an eye on your Twitch whispers. Uh, hopefully I am doing this correctly. Pressure's on right now. This, this, this is the real gamer hour right here. The real gamer hour. All right. Codes have been whispered. Please enjoy. All right. And last giveaway. Got two more codes for PS4. And I'm gonna mix it up on you guys. I'm gonna mix it up on you guys. You've got start giveaway. You gotta type in PS Big. PS Big. Five letters, no spaces. PS Big. PS Big. <laughs> Hatter Madigan, thank you for the cheer. Hill, thank you for the prime. Cowboy Kit, thanks for the sub. Nuggle the Kelpie, thank you for the prime. This is for PlayStation codes for Crash Bandicoot 4. It's about Crash Crash. Crash Crash the Mishmash. Do I scum even though I don't own a PS4? Do your thing. Is it case sensitive? I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna say no. Most things in computers try their hardest to not be case sensitive. And then Microsoft slides on in and they're like, but what if it was? And that makes it very complicated. Oh, Pliskin, thanks for the five subs. It's not Linux, so probably not. I mean, Linux is not case sensitive, right? Did I get that backwards? Unix is not case sensitive. Windows is, in some some cases. It's kind of it's kind of weird. I got it backwards. Oh, never mind. It is not case sensitive. My bad. You're right. You're right. Yeah, string to lower. Yeah. I got it. I got it backwards. You're right. You're right. That's why. Yeah, Unix is. You're right. You're absolutely right. That's right. That's why when I when I started doing some Unix dev, yeah. Removing case was like the first thing you do with any inputs or outputs. String to lower. I had to do a lot of that shit when formatting like uh, database work. Will this code work on my PS2? Unfortunately, n <laughs> fortunately no. They don't, uh, PS, PlayStation doesn't have that big Xbox energy yet. All right, we're coming up on the, on the end here. 10 seconds left. How big is your PS? How big is your PS big? And stop giveaway. Aspiring Warlock and John Word. Congratulations on winning PlayStation codes. You will be getting codes through Twitch Whispers right now. This, hey, this is just Lawrence Stream Energy right here. You don't gotta, you get free games, you don't even gotta wait for them. It's your games and you need them now. And that's what I'm here to do. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, thank you for, thank you for hanging out. Thank you for, for being really understanding and supportive. I gotta admit, I was expecting a lot more of a clusterfuck today than I got. So I really appreciate each and every one of you for, for being, like, everyone had very reasonable things to ask and talk about and was very respectful of me trying to trying to do my best to navigate these waters. So if if people had targeted me more insidiously or more directly, it's, it's quite possible I could have had a worse time. So thank you very much. I, I really mean that, thank you. Uh, yeah, not, not the greatest day. Not, not one, not one of the all timers today, but that's, that's life sometimes. Uh, but thanks again for watching. Uh, we'll raid on to somebody and, uh, hope you guys have a great time. Uh, wherever, wherever you go. I'll be back streaming tomorrow. Uh, same, same kind of rig out. Just me playing games old and new and rambling endlessly about them. So thanks again. I'll check you tomorrow. Have a good night, everyone.